Hey everyone, my name is Bohdan and today I'm going to make a little uh, English speaking video just to make sure that the developers team of my favorite Linux distribution, which is of course, as far as you can see, Debian GNU Linux, is about to hear me and I really want all those people to correct those problems uh, that I will be telling about because those problems, they can affect the whole system performance, especially for non-English speaking users. Okay, so to make a long story short, let's start from the very beginning. Uh, the first problem I discovered while using, while using Debian 10 on Wayland is uh, that I am unable to change my keyboard layout over here using the standard uh, key bindings, like uh, hotkeys like super plus space or super plus... Uh, uh, I mean, uh, Shift plus L, just like in my case, because I got used to it. At the moment, I'm working with X server, so there is no problem with it. But as far as I run Valent, which is, I remind you, the standard display manager for Debian 10, I cannot change the keyboard layout inside any piece of software like uh, Firefox ESR or the Audacity audio editor. It's a... Uh, over here somewhere I just can't find it and over here right so the problem is I'm trying to change my uh, keyboard layout over here but it indicates that it does changes but still as far as I'm using Firefox for example or Audacity or something else like this it does not actually changes over here so I cannot type the Ukrainian text, although it shows Ukrainian over here. Uh, this is the first serious issue and I was trying to understand what is going on and what is it all about. And I think I've discovered something just to help you a little bit, guys, to, to, to show you the direction where to go and where to find the solution for the problem. So I am about to show you what is wrong with it. Okay, so I've been actually discovering the problem using my girlfriend's profile. So as far as you can see, I'm using her bash history at the moment. And you can see some uh, weird or strange uh, comments in here, like remove FCITX. What is FCITX? Is this is actually the piece of software which affects and it actually creates the problem with changing the keyboard layout under Wayland over here. It does not affect the X server that much, but it does affect Wayland. So uh, I removed that and I have my like my my things are okay. I can change my keyboard layout with no issues at the moment but I've removed that I am not sure if this piece of software went with uh, Debian 10 as a default piece of software in it or I install it just like a dependency for some other kind of piece of software but the point is I've been using uh, some sort of command to install all those uh, my favorite GNOME extensions that they do have in their repositories. It, it, it looked like sudo apt install gnome then extension unfortunately I cannot uh, find it at the moment probably gnome shell extension yeah I've done it like this so it installed the whole bunch of those ex extensions let us see there are a lot of them and one of those extensions possibly installed this piece of software called, uh, I don't remember how. Uh, okay, let's try it one more time. FCITX. So this piece of software installed itself and made uh, some issues for me changing my language in here. And uh, by the way, despite if I were using a mouse or if I were using my hotkeys, it didn't affect the system. So I only had my English language in here. 
despite it showed Ukrainian language, despite it showed the whole system of Ukrainian language. But the point is, uh, when I've experienced uh, that sort of problem under Wayland, there were no issues with changing keys in here, like in terminal or inside uh, of the LibreOffice writer or some other sort of software like this. So Gedit, which is uh, my text editor by default in here. So there were no problems with changing my language of input. Okay, so that was actually the first serious issue I found. So uh, the solution is to uh, remove the physically to physically remove this piece of software, FCITX or how do you spell it? And the second big problem with Wayland is the simple screen recorder piece of software is not about to record anything for you inside Wayland. It can only record inside uh, X server because. Under Wayland, you can only record your sound, soundtrack, but no video at all. So that actually was the second serious problem. And the most, the most serious problem for me, personal for me, is that by default, Debian 10 does not have this system tray over here. Yeah, I remember that system tray. It looked terrible all the time over here on the left, left uh, button, or how do you over here yeah on this corner of the screen and they removed it but the problem is there are a lot of different programs that need the system tray for example HP leap stuff or uh, the Dropbox stuff or uh, simple screen recorder stuff they all need the system tray because if you are about to start them without uh, using this extension for adding the system tray they will crash. For example, HP Leap says there is no system tray detected in your system, so, so the program is about to close itself. And the same stuff with the other two programs that use a system tray in here. So after installing Debian 10, you have to install one more thing. You have to use your GNOME Tweak tool to enable enable one of those extensions. For example, I'm using this case status notifier application that's something like that I cannot read it actually sorry for my mistakes I don't speak English that well so it's uh, complicated for me I didn't have practice for like 10 years or something so actually uh, the variation number one is this improvement which can help you add um, the system tray over here on the top panel or there are some other ways for example for example for example top icons plus it does the same but over here fortunately you cannot see it in the moment but it does it actually works uh, I think I've removed it something is going on something weird is going on with all my uh, things okay so I'll disable it for a moment so okay there are a lot of extensions that can uh, actually solve your problem yeah and make things look fine for you but still this is Debian stable the stable branch of my favorite distribution and when is it when it comes to Debian stable uh, when I install the fresh system I don't want to see those error messages from system tray it looks strange and if you are an OIS user it does not attract you at all it looks like the system is like bad or something it's probably damaged or it doesn't work in the right way so people are looking at all those issues i've been telling you about and they are like thinking oh my god what do i need debian for do it i actually would prefer to stay in windows or mac os or something else just to avoid all those strange problems so right now i'm talking to uh the dev team of debian which is my favorite linux distribution i love it very much and greetings greetings for ukraine uh, from ukraine to you guys but i really want you to react to this my video 
my short video and to make things go better because I'm tired of using the X server all the time during all my years of using Linux I want to move to Wayland but I can't because of this strange issues over here and with this simple screen recorder piece of software uh, okay so uh, I think uh, this video was useful for someone I hope so so subscribe to my channel press the bell button and the like button if you liked it and press the dislike button if you didn't like it at all and you can also comment my stuff so I'll be grateful for you and see you in the next videos thank you for your attention especially for the dev team of Debian good luck guys